Welcome, everybody, to the Table Rush Talk Show. First, an administrative note. I will be changing my podcasting schedule to an interview every Friday and then a riff episode every Tuesday. So an interview every Friday and a riff episode every Tuesday. You can count on that schedule. Um, this will be starting in about two, three, two, three or four days. Um, and I might throw in more episodes than that, but I'm going to work on, on uh, increasing the quality and focus of the riff episodes. So I'm going to play with that for a little bit. Enjoy that journey with me and enjoy this episode uh, where I talk about the power of podcasting. And I think that's my destiny is to help people podcast in the short term. You know when someone is selling from stage and at the end the audience gets up and rushes to the back of the room to buy? That's a table rush. My name is Misha Z and the Table Rush Talk Show is all about bringing you the tools, strategies, and tactics that you can use to grow your audience and inspire them to buy. Today I'm going to talk about um, podcasting, the power of podcasting, and I believe that I'm going to help people podcast, indeed. It seems to be my calling, in the short term at least short to midterm helping people podcast so I'll discuss that a little bit on this episode and of course there'll be our standard diversions twists and turns first off subscribe subscribe below there we go subscribe below throw in a comment hey you're amazing or hey Man, I love it when you ramble, or man, could you just stick to the point? Again, I'm going to talk about the power of podcasting. I believe that I get to help people podcast. But first off, can we talk about the elephant in the room? My lamb chops. <laughs> My 70s-ish lamb chops. I was, um... How old was I? In the 70s. At the end of the 70s, I was 12 years old. So I spent a lot of my kid time getting in trouble in the 70s. Latchkey. Full on latchkey kid. Wilson, Wyoming, which is a tiny little town outside of Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Six miles out, population 200. I grew up in a town with population 200. Shooting guns, shooting gophers. Uh, yeah, divorced parents. Anyway, enough about that. So podcasting. Um, I finally posted my first YouTube video with me on video walking. And I don't believe it's my best look. So that was that was growth for me to to uh, go ahead and put that on the airwaves. And now, per usual, once you take that messy action, it un it opens the cork of the bottle, or it lets the genie out of the bottle, or it opens Pandora's box. Now Pandora's box is not so much. Hey, here, say hi to this little wee child. Hello, wee child. Hello. <laughs> How cute is Strong that? Strong-willed wee child. <laughs> Strong-willed wee child. We like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, not being strong-willed. Yes. Uh, thanks for that diversion. Encinitas, California. Um, as far as podcasting, YouTubing, being creative, creating content... I would encourage everybody to, even if you're blogging, or I suppose FaceTime living, or any of the living, TikToking, um, Instagramming, Snapchatting, can you go live on LinkedIn these days? Man, just let it rip. I got this really cool little microphone. It's called the Shure MV88. Um, get yourself a microphone. Get yourself a microphone. So that when you're out and about doing the 
mundane things. Perhaps you can record an episode when the inspiration is is hitting you. I'm also going to tell you that I'm big into meditation. Like I love some meditation. I love meditation. I love prayer. I love connecting, you know, with source, God, higher power. Call it whatever you want. The infinite intelligence. And I believe tapping into that allows that creativity to flow. So I'll talk about that and reference that a bunch. I will. Um, I'm big into A Course in Miracles right now. ACIM. Check out A Course in Miracles. It's a great way to tap into, into source. Source? Source? I don't know where source is. Um, so you within. So you can channel. So you can co-create with the universe. Uh, but it's very clear to me um, I had gone to Funnel Hacking Live 2021 a few months ago at the time of this recording, what, four months ago by now? Coming up on four months. Um, and I was switching from a, you know, being this healing modality. I can help people with a healing modality towards, you know what? No, I love business. I love business. I love sales and marketing. I've got an extensive history in sales and marketing. I'm good at it. I'm good at it. And I've always had the dream of of the one-to-many on a bigger scale. So I did a ton of direct mail marketing, which is uh, direct response. But I like the idea of being on stage, perhaps, and uh, selling that way. So... When I was at Funnel Hacking Live, it became very clear to me as I was talking to people, networking, just being friends with everyone, you know, meeting people, that a lot of people struggle on the publishing side, getting out an episode every day, for example, or even every week, or a few times a week. And that can be... You know, blogging, YouTubing, podcasting, lives on any of the channels. But it's easy for me, honestly. It's easy for me. I am, it's very easy for me to, to get an episode out every day. <laughs> now, I love Gary Vee's take on it. Quality is subjective. Quality is subjective. And that was a big hang-up for me when I got started. I had this vision of how an episode needed to be perfect. There is the ideal, and that ideal is to, you know, provide service, provide value, have your topic, perhaps, you know, give the three steps to success or whatever, but to try and add value. So at the end, somebody goes, oh yeah, this was valuable. And that uh, the more you can add value, the bigger your, of course, viewership grows. But I was offered a structure that was very limiting to rapid creation of content. So when I started in the podcast game a year, year and a half ago, um, hopefully you're seeing this five years ago five years from now and so it's like six six and a half years ago um, but I was offered a methodology of creating podcast episodes it was so rigid and there's no way I could thrive within it I just couldn't and some people can and some people have a tremendous success with the rigid you know frameworks um, but I, I needed more flexibility. And once I was able to to break free of that rigid framework and just let it rip and drop into a stream of consciousness and, you know, talk to source and, God, how can I be of service and what can I bring to the table that it could get me past just that one episode. Like on a per episode, you might listen to this episode and go, well, this is not... This is not <laughs> objectively 
quality content, but the body of work. If this, if this pushes me forward, this episode pushes me forward to a better quality of work, well then, hey, it is working. So if I can have a broader perspective than just on a per episode basis, it makes it a lot easier to crank out content and episodes on a daily basis. I will say this, over the years, over the year here, year and a half of podcasting, I try to tie whatever it is back to the entrepreneurial journey, because that's what I'm talking about a lot these days, is the entrepreneurial journey. I'm switching arms. Apologize. <laughs> that water bottle got heavy. There, there. Now you can get my other, the, the other profile. Um, so, you know, and I'm, I'm about direct response marketing and right now and sales, direct response, building your platform to get your word out, building your audience. And so I would encourage anybody to take from this episode right here, just get publishing. They get publishing. Just do it and trust that, you know, do a little prayer, a little meditation, talk to your creator, whatever that is. Like, hey, what's the message you want me to bring? What do you want me to say here? And then trust. In the moment, it might feel brutal, might feel painful, but trust that as your body of work comes together, it will be a message worth carrying. Someone will hear what they need to hear. Okay. That was a pretty good, effective rant, I feel like. Love to all. Oh. I'll say this too. What's coming? Of course, don't forget to subscribe. A challenge is coming. Any day, not any day, over the next few weeks, I'm going to have a uh, start your podcast challenge. It'll be a five-day challenge. Fun thing about seeing yourself on video is you're like, oh wait, my shirt's crooked or whatever. Who knows? Doesn't matter. A further distraction. Oh, by the way, too, there's a ton of really effective YouTubers out there that would probably be horrified by this right now. But so be it. Not glossy, not shiny. Um, what was I saying? Challenge is coming. A five-day get your podcast started challenge um, more details to follow to come over the next uh, coming days and weeks but look for that that's it have a good day out there thank you thank you for listening to this episode of the table rush talk show for resources to help you sell your stuff go to B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. That's B-Love dot media forward slash resources. And be sure to subscribe, comment, five star, and share. Thank you again for listening.